So when you're adding and subtracting fractions and you don't have monomials in the denominators, you have binomials and things that can be factored in the denominators, your first step is to factor the denominator. Well, this particular problem can't be factored in the denominator. So it's 1 times a minus 6 and 1 times a plus 4. Your second step is to find the least common denominator. So in this problem, because neither of those match, then they both have to be in the LCD, which would be a minus 6 times a plus 4. So your next step is to write an equivalent fraction so that you have these two binomials in your denominators. So let's go there. So the first fraction is 5 over a minus 6, and it needs an a plus 4. So I've got to multiply top and bottom of this fraction by a plus 4. Now I want to try to make you laugh here. You see that a plus 4 and that a plus 4? It's just calling you, saying, cross me off, cross me off, cross me off, because look, there's one on top, one on the bottom. And I, please, would you laugh right now, because you just put them there. You can't cross them off. It's, it's a common error that people, mistake, uh, that people do. What you got to do is you got to take the 5 times a and get 5a and the 5 times 4 and get 20. And sometimes what I'll do is I'll just put that that numerator now has the least common denominator in it. It's got both of these binomials because I want to concentrate on the numerators. So sometimes people will even just write over here, hey, that 5's got to be multiplied by a plus 4, and they'll just do that, and they'll put this LCD down. So again, the second fraction is 7 over a plus 4, so it's missing the a minus 6. So the 7's got to be multiplied by a minus 6. Top and bottom, don't cross these off. Take the 7 times a and get 7a and the 7 times 6 and get a minus 42. So again, 7a minus 42. And you now have both binomials in the denominator. It's an addition problem. By writing just the letters LCD there, it will make you concentrate on adding the numerators now. So 5a plus 7a is a total of 12a, and 20 take away 42 is a minus 22, so we're combining like terms in the numerator. It's over the common denominator, which is a minus 6 times a plus 4, and now I have to write that in. I think I'm done, but I do notice that these are even, so I could factor out a 2, and I'd need a 6a minus 11 over the a minus 6 and the a plus 4. That didn't do me any good because there's no 2 in this denominator to reduce, to reduce with. There's no 6a minus 11 down here to reduce with. I could have stopped right here. Okay, let's do this next one. So the binomial, the denominator, is 6 times x minus 5. This denominator is 4 times x minus 5. Oh, cool. So the LCD... What's the multiple between a 6 and a 4? 4 doesn't go into 6. So 4, 8, 12. It's supposed to be a 12 here. And then 6 and 12. Oh, looks like the common denominator is a 12 between a 6 and a 4. But I also need the x minus 5. So Pat's pretty proper. The first fraction reads 4x over 6 times x minus 5. But you know how you want the denominator to become a 12 times x minus 5? Some people will just put the 2 right here and say, hey, that 4 has got to be multiplied by 2 to get 8x in order to make this denominator to become a 12 times x minus 5. So some people won't show this. They'll just show what the numerator has got to be multiplied by. Um, the numerator becomes 8x. I'm going to go ahead this time and say that the denominator is 12 times x minus 5. Again, don't cancel those out if you choose to write them both there. Um, the second fraction was a 3x, and it had a 4 times an x minus 5. It needs to become a 12 
times an x minus 5. So this has got to be multiplied by 3. So so does this have to be multiplied by 3. So this will become a 9x up here. And it now has the denominator of 12 times x minus 5. I want to add these two fractions. So 9x and 8x is 17x over 12 times x minus 5. And I'm all done because nothing can be reduced with that 17 and that monomial x. Let's keep going. Again, you can pause any time and do these problems on your own. So you have to factor your denominators. So this factors into x plus 5 times x minus 5. This denominator is just x minus 5. So my least common denominator for this problem is the x plus 5 and the x minus 5. So that first fraction, the 3x in the numerator, it already has the LCD. But this 4 over the x minus 5, what's it missing of these two? It's missing the x plus 5. Now, again, some people will just put that there so that they don't go and cross this off when they show that they're multiplying top and bottom by x plus 5. So I'm okay with that. And as a matter of fact, when you have the subtraction problem and just a monomial here, you could go swipe, swipe, and you could distribute a negative 4 times x and get a negative 4x, and a negative 4 times 5 and get a a minus 20 and remember this is now over the LCD and you've changed this to a plus sign so you have a 3x in your numerator for your first fraction and then a negative x uh, negative 4x minus 20 in the numerator for the second so I'm ready to add these so 3x minus 4x gives you that negative x I mentioned a minute ago bring down the minus 20 Oh, you know what? I, I see a, a tiny error, and if you don't mind, I'm just going to go back and fix it right now. So see this 4x? I copied this as a 4. So this was supposed to be 4x squared and 20x. So now I think I'm good to go. And I just wrote this as 20, and I, I mean an x here. Okay, I forgot to copy the x, and then I just needed to fix this. So now my x squared term is a loan term and this 3x minus 20x is a negative 17x and now I better write down the full denominator which is x plus 5 times x minus 5 and this cannot be factored at all so I'm gonna I'm gonna just stop and leave that as is let's go ahead and do one more because this is just an eight minute video at this point in time so let's go ahead and do one more again at any time please consider taking a break and practicing on your own so a minus five and a plus four need to be the denominators they occur once so you know here's my little cheat uh, trick now the 7 needs to be multiplied by an a plus 4 because it's got the a minus 5. This a minus 2 needs to be multiplied by an a minus 5 because it's got the a plus 4. So I'm cheating a little bit. I'll call this 7a plus 28. And it now has the full two binomials because I multiplied this by a plus 4. Therefore, this is multiplied by a plus 4. There is a subtraction sign here. See, this, this was a binomial, and you're multiplying by a binomial, so you have to FOIL it. So a times a is a squared. Then you have a minus 5a. Then you have a minus 2a. And a minus 2 times a minus 5 is a positive 10. And that one now has the LCD. I personally would combine these two like terms and I would call that a squared minus 7a plus 10. So I've just replaced this, I'm going to go ahead and cross it off, replace this numerator with the trinomial. But I need to subtract all of that. So I need to add the opposite of the a squared. So I need to change the sign of the a squared term. See this minus 7a? I need to change that to be a positive 7a. 
See this plus 10? I need to make that a minus 10 because when you subtract, you add the opposite. And finally now, I am ready to concentrate on those numerators and hope that I did a fine job. So I've got an a squared term that's got a minus a squared. I've got this 7a and 7a that add to be 14a. And then finally, I've got this 28, and I need to take away 10. That will give me 18 over the common denominator of a minus 5 times a plus 4. You would not believe the simplifying of algebraic fractions in the sciences, in the physics, in the chemistry, in the thermodynamics, in the heat transfer, in the statics and dynamics. Just the simplifying, combining like terms, adding um, and subtracting fractions. And so this skill is a very, very important skill in the engineering field.